good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering graphics under engineering graphics we are going to discuss a topic on projection of planes under projection of planes we are going to solve a problem on plane inclined to both the planes this is the 10th solved problem we are discussing under projection of planes inclined to both the planes now we will enter into the problem the given problem is a regular pentagon of 30 mm sides is resting on a corner on the hp the side opposite to the corner in the hp is parallel to and 35 mm above the hp and inclined at 45 degrees to the vp draw the projections of the plane now we will extract the data from the problem the name of the object is pentagonal plane and its side length is 30 mm here the following conditions are mentioned what are those conditions the corner of the pentagonal plane is on hp and the side opposite to the corner in the hp is parallel to and 35 mm above the hp that is corner of the pentagonal plane is on hp side opposite to the corner in the hp is 35 mm above the hp and the side which is on hp is inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the vp here in this particular problem the surface inclination of the pentagonal plane with hp is not given directly instead of that they are saying the corner of the pentagonal plane say a is on hp and the side opposite to the corner say cd is raised with a height of 35 mm from the horizontal plane that means this pentagonal plane is going to make inclination with the hp that is the inclination of the pentagonal plane with hp is given indirectly from this data we know that the surface of the pentagonal plane is inclined to the hp and the side opposite to the corner is inclined with an angle of 45 degrees to the vp that is this particular problem comes under plane inclined to both the plane concept the plane inclined to both the plane concept problems can be solved in two three stages as i said earlier this particular problem comes under plane inclined to both the plane concept this plane inclined to both the plane problems can be solved in two three stages for the given problem can be solved in two three stages the first stage is initial position assumption second stage is surface inclination of the plane with hp third stage is side inclination of the plane with vp now we will enter into the first stage solution that is initial position assumption followed by second stage as well as third stage solution in detail under initial position assumption first we will discuss how to draw true shape of the plane because drawing the true shape of the plane is the first step under projection of planes now we will enter into the first stage solution that is initial position assumption followed by second stage as well as third stage solution in detail this is the pentagonal plane here in the problem it is mentioned that this pentagonal plane is resting on its corner say a on hp and the side opposite to this corner say cd is raised at a distance 35 mm from the horizontal plane that is the side cd is parallel to the hp and it is at a distance 35 mm from the horizontal plane here in this problem the inclination of the pentagonal plane with the horizontal plane is not given directly instead of that they are saying the corner is on this corner is on hp opposite to this corner say cd side is at a distance 35 mm from the horizontal plane that means this particular pentagonal plane is inclined to the hp this particular pentagonal plane is inclined to the hp that inclination we are denoting with theta in projection of planes we need to start with true shape of the plane here the true shape of the plane is not visible neither in the top view nor in the front view 
In order to draw true shape of the plane, we need to assume that the pentagonal plane is resting on HP. That is, if the pentagonal plane is making theta degrees to the HP for drawing the initial position of the pentagonal plane, we need to assume the plane is resting on HP. In this position, we need to draw the true shape of the plane. In this position, draw true shape of the plane that is a regular pentagon that is visible in the top view, keeping the corner say A, preferably left side. First draw XY line. Here, the pentagonal plane's corner we have to take preferably left side and also this corner containing remaining two sides say AB as well as AE makes equal inclination to the XY line. So draw a line parallel to the XY line. After that, locate a point A then at A with an angle of 54 degrees upward direction and 54 degrees downward direction draw two lines E and this point as B the interior angle between two adjacent sides of a pentagonal plane is 180 degrees so that the side AE making an angle of 54 degrees to the XY line and AB side also makes an angle 54 degrees to the XY line that is when the plane is resting on its corner is on HP while its surface is making inclination then that corner containing remaining two sides need to make equal inclination to the XY line. Then complete the construction of the pentagon. This is the top view of the pentagonal plane when it is resting on HP. Then we will draw its corresponding front view. For that, draw projector through the points say A, B, C, D and E towards the XY line. Because the pentagonal plane is resting on HP, that's why it image in the front view falls on the XY line. Here A dash C dash is the front view of the pentagonal plane when it is resting on its plane on HP. Because the plane is resting on HP, that's why its image in the front view falls on the XY line. With this we completed first stage solution. Then we will move towards second stage solution. In the second stage solution, the pentagonal plane is resting on its corner say A on HP and the side opposite to this corner say CD is raised with a height of 35 mm from the HP. So locate a point A dash on the XY line then at a distance 35 mm from the XY line draw line parallel to the XY line. Here, the corner of the pentagonal plane say A on HP and the side opposite to this corner say CD is raised at a distance 35 mm. This distance is 35 mm from the horizontal plane. That means the image of the CD line need to fall on this parallel line. For that, take A dash C dash as a radius. A dash as a center, draw an arc on this parallel line and 
name this point as C dash D dash. Then join A dash as well as C dash points in the second stage front cube. Then take A dash B dash as a radius. A dash as a center. Draw an arc on this A dash C dash line and name this point as B dash E dash. With this, we completed drawing second stage front view. Then we will draw second stage top view. For that, draw projectors vertically downward direction from the points in the second stage front view, say A dash, B dash, C dash. Etc. and also draw projectors through the first stage top view points say A, B, C, D and E horizontally rightward direction. After that locate, name and join the intersection points in the second stage top view in a sequential order. Here this is the projector coming from A dash and this is the projector coming from first stage top view point A. Both are meeting at this particular point and name this point as A1. Similarly this is the projector coming from B dash and this is the projector coming from first stage top view point B. Both are meeting here and name this point as B1. Similarly locate remaining points. Then join the points in the second stage top view say A1, B1, C1, D1, E1 and A1 with straight line segments. With this we complete a second stage solution that is in the second stage the pentacle plane is resting on its corner on HP and the side opposite to the corner say CD is raised with a height of 35 mm from the horizontal plane. Then we will move towards third stage solution. In the third stage solution what we need to do? We need to reproduce the second stage top view such that the side opposite to the corner A that is CD is to be tilted with an angle of 45 degrees to the VP. In order to easily reproduce the second stage top view into the third stage, we are enclosing the second stage top view within a rectangle. See here 1, 2, 3, 4 is the rectangle. Here the side say C1 D1 falls on the side of a rectangle say 3 4. Then draw a line which is making an angle 45 degrees to the XY line. After that locate a point say 4 on this inclined line then take 4 3 as radius, 4 as center, draw an arc and name this point as 3 then complete the construction of the rectangle here. Copying the rectangle say 1, 2, 3, 4 from second stage to the third stage with the given condition say the side 3, 4 is making an angle 45 degrees to the XY line is completed. With reference to the rectangle 1, 2, 3, 4, we will reproduce the top view of a pentagonal plane point say E1, B1, C1, D1 and E1 into the third stage top view. For that, take 4 E1 as a radius, 4 as a center, draw an arc. With this, we will get E1 point. 
Similarly, 3 B1 also with the same radius. 3 as a center, the same radius, draw an arc on 3 to side. Then, 3 D1 as a radius. 3 as a center, draw an arc on 3 4 side, with that you will get D1 point. Similarly, 4 C1 also with the same radius. So, 4 as a center, with the same radius, draw an arc, with that you will get point C1. Then, 2 A1 as a radius. 2 as a center, draw an arc, with that you will get point A1. Then, join the points in a sequential order, say, A1, B1, B1, C1, C1, D1, T1, E1, and E1 as well as A1 with straight line segments. Reproducing the second stage top view into the third stage top view with the given condition is completed. Then we will move towards drawing the final stage front view. For that, we will draw projectors through the third stage top view points say A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1 towards the vertical plane and also draw projectors through the second stage front view points say A dash, B dash, C dash horizontally rightward direction. After that, look at the intersection points in the third stage front view. This is the projector coming from A1 and this is the projector coming from A dash. Both are meeting at this particular point and name this point as A1 dash. Similarly, from B1 this is the projector going upward direction and B dash this is the projector coming rightward direction. So name this point as B1 dash. Similarly, look at remaining points. After that, join the points say A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash and A1 dash with the help of straight line segment in a sequential order. This is the final stage front view. Now we will see the pencil uses details. Here the projectors are with 3H pencil, dimensioning is with 2H pencil and views are with H pencil. Related to the dimension details, the length of the side of a pentagonal plane is 30 mm. That is all dimensions are in millimeters. Now we will see the summary of the solution. This is the first stage solution when the pentagonal plane is resting on HP and perpendicular to the VP. And this is the second stage solution. In this stage, the pentagonal plane is resting on its corner C, A on HP and the side opposite to this corner C, CD is at a distance 35 mm above the HP. And this is the third stage solution. In this stage, the side opposite to the corner A say CD is making an angle 45 degrees to the VP. Make a note my dear students, this is very very important problem and it was asked many times under university examinations. So we need to practice this solved problem from beginning to ending perfectly. If you have any queries or doubts related to the present solved problem, you can mention it under comment section of this video. I am happy to answer it as quickly as possible. For more videos on engineering graphics, visit the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning on knowledge sharing. Stay blessed. Thank you.